everybody so I'm here at the Napa uh, Sarah Cruz Nationals here in upstate New York in Sarah Cruz and I've been walking around and I came across Aaron and his car and the interesting thing that caught my attention is there's free posters I'll show you yep so they're just definitely drawing the attention of everybody with um, giving away free posters this is what the posters look like so we'll go and get Aaron's intake on um, how it all started sure. how are you going Aaron good so misfits muscle that's your car club yes misfit muscle yes and how long has the club been going on for probably three four years now okay and um, you were telling me about the free giveaways which is getting a lot of attention people yeah. as soon as they see free free posters they like to draw them in and the pictures are amazing um, what is the um, well I guess why, why are you doing this or why, since when have you been doing the posters? The main reason is we mix kind of our faith, our Christian faith, in with our hobby. Yeah. So it's an easy springboard to share God's word with people. Beautiful. And do you take the pictures yourself of the cars? Yeah. And are these your friends' cars or just random cars? Uh, some of them are my cars, friends' cars, um, people that we get permission to use very nice and you said cars so I'm guessing this is not the only car you have yeah I have a few yeah okay I'll leave it there <laughs> well, what, do, what do we have here behind us this is a 1969 Oldsmobile Cutlass mm -hmm. and uh, this is actually um, family cruiser car so okay. I have two boys and uh, we wanted a four-door car that was easy for the boys to get in and out of I call it the blue bomber. But. The blue bomber. <laughs> are you you haven't done much to it, have you? No, it's uh, mostly original. Yeah. Uh, Eighty-two thousand miles on it. Wow. And how long have you had this for? Uh, about three years now. Three years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's been still been going well. Did you change the engine at all? Or? No, engine's all original. I did a disc brake upgrade. Yep. Um, so it was safer for my family and put some new tires on it. Otherwise everything else is pretty original and we can yeah. tell, I mean, from the color to the body as well and the interior. That's great. I always appreciate it when it's in such originality. Yeah, I was pretty fortunate to come by this car. And did it have just one owner before you or? Um, I think I'm probably the fourth owner. The fourth owner? Yeah. Wow, that's so surprising that after four owners, not one of them decided to, you know, let's just restore it and yeah. make it brand new and change the interior. Everybody enjoyed yeah. it being in its original condition. Yeah, I, somebody brought it up from Florida. Yep. And I think it was garage kept uh, most of its life. Wow. Because the vinyl top is, this, I believe this is the original vinyl top and that would never be the case. If it was kept out in the sun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it was definitely look well looked after. Definitely was in a garage because even the paint, I mean yes, there's a few blemishes, but other than that it's not rusted or yeah, it's yeah, faded. For the, the paint from back then it was holding up quite well. That's what I mean. Fifty year old paint or sixty year old. Oh well that's awesome. And this is this is great what you guys are doing. Um, nice to see. see everybody taking it home can you tell me a little bit about um... so we've got Mustangs and racing yeah they're actually numbered by manufacturer so this is Ford series image number nine so we have at least eight other Ford images so we have it where people if they want to collect the Ford images collect Ford or... a very nice way and to combine they... Passion for cars and faith. Yes. Yeah. And we have most of our poster images on our Facebook page. Okay. So people can go on there and see, you know, if they want to collect the cords, then they can see right on our Facebook. And they just uh, search Misfit Muscle. Yes. And they'll be able to find you.
This is a beautiful 69 Camaro. We're going to go and have a chat with JD and get to know a little bit more about it because it's absolutely striking. Hi JD, how you going? Good. How are you been? Great. Beautiful car, mate. Thank you. What can you tell us? I mean, there's a lot happening here, obviously. Let's start with the basics. Basics, 69 Camaro Super Sport. Super Sport? Yep, LS1 engine. Nice. How long have you had it for? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Eight years. And what was it like when you got it? Uh, Did just, it look like this? No. No. <laughs> base model, just the base model. It changed the tire running package, uh, wheels, tires, brakes. Uh, put the spoiler back on it. So that would not have been the 69? Yes, they did have them in 69 as an option. Okay. So you just redid it? Yes. I added it. It was not on the car. Okay. So but then the big biggest conversion is the LS1 engine. Very nice. It's got all LED lights. Okay, where are the lights? Right here. So, so those are all LED, the front running lights, the headlights yep. are LED also. So I just did that uh, just before, uh, just after winter, I should say. Okay, and how long did it take you? you? Change the lights maybe a day if you had to do a little bit of uh, adjusting for the brake lights uh, and turn signals to work. Okay, that's so good to know it doesn't take so that long. You need to do a reset. Oh, yeah. It's got 2013 uh, Camaro Super Sport seats in it. Okay, let's have a look at the interior. Yeah, so it's got the Oh, nice. I love it when you can open up a car and smell the leather inside. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's got power windows. You got a little mascot in there as well? Yeah, yeah. He's Who's he? He, he? He's a peanut. Peanut? Yeah, he helps drive. He helps drive. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> okay, this LS1 engine. Yeah. It's just like the original Camaros. Okay. Original Camaros had like uh, LS ones from like say 1989 to 1990. Beautiful. And uh, what would the power be for an LS one? Uh, only probably about maybe 350. Okay. Nice for a driver. Yeah, driver. Yeah. They don't have too much power. Oh, there's my the friends LED working lights. on that. Your friends working on it. Yeah. So what does that mean? That means we're going to be expecting some more power. Yeah, more power. So, what would you do? Well, there's... But the LS1 is all computerized, like the new cars. Okay. So you reprogram the computer to maybe have the timing and output different. And But then you can always do things like change the cam, mm -hmm. things like that, the horsepower if you'd like to, like any motor. That's so fascinating because with these newer cars, with the computer technology, you're not necessarily taking out the motor or putting something else in or adding anything else to it, but it's just cool. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. So a lot's done with the computer, the timing, you know, when you want it to shift because it's also related to the automatic transmission. Yeah. And then if you add it and you change it with the computer, then it would start using more fuel if the power goes up. It could or could not. It doesn't necessarily mean you know, it just more fuel. Okay. So it could be more efficient, but depends how you're driving. Yeah. Depends how you're driving. Yeah. Okay. So how much more power would you want to put on this? Oh, well, it'd be nice to put a lot more power to it, but uh, then you just tear it up. You have to buy new wheels and tires. <laughs> and what is happening with the tires and wheels? Did you add these? Yes. The rims look nice. What are they? They're a race line. Race line uh, size 18s on the front, yeah. and size 20s on the rear. Then we have bare brakes, four wheel disc brakes all the way around. Four wheel disc brakes. Yes. So, the, so you shouldn't so have you, too much problem if you up the power. I mean, you've got yeah, four wheel disc okay. brakes. Yes. You'll be safe, yes. hopefully. <laughs> now, I notice a lot of cars do have the bigger wheels at the back and the smaller wheels. For people like myself and others don't know, what is the purpose of that? Uh, really the purpose is more for just a visual look. Okay. You know, and of course the larger wheel on the back, you can get a little bit wider wheel. Okay. And uh, more traction. More say, traction. To the, to the ground with the horsepower. 
Okay. So that's probably the main focus is the bigger wheel mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> for you know, torque and power off the ground. But, okay. But otherwise, I just did it for visual. Well, know, it looks good. It looks good. Bigger wheel on the back and smaller on the front. And at least you prepared that when you do up the power, yeah. the wheels already yeah, there. Okay. Oh, that's great. And have you always liked the Camaros? Yes, it's always one passion of mine, but I have many passions, but uh, okay. I've always liked the 69 Camaro. So. so you've done other cars besides this? Yeah. What else yeah, have you I, done? Well, I had a 68 Camaro for over 15 years. Okay. And I just let that go a couple years ago. And you had to replace it? No, I always had this too. Okay. I have a 32 Ford Coupe. You've got a 32 Ford Coupe? Yeah. So Why that, is that not here today? That was here last year. Okay. <laughs> And that's all restored as well? Yeah, yeah Beautiful. It's, it's nice. Too. Very nice. So we're, we're from Toledo, Ohio, so okay. Yeah, so we're having fun, come and visit our friends and enjoy the show. Well, that's what it's about. I appreciate yes. that, JD. Right. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Yours, sir? Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. 69. It was one of the only 20 that was one ever made. One of only 20 with an automatic transmission in this color. This color didn't come out to the middle of March of 69. This one was made in February, February 11th of uh, 69. So it was either an executive's car or somebody that knew somebody at the back. Right, because it came out before the actual launch time. Yes. Because it was a mid um, a mid-year uh, color. Right. They had the green, the Bahama, yellow, the butterscotch, whatever. Well, the yellow was always there because of the... Um... Well, they had one that was a butterscotch. It wasn't the yellow yellow. It was the... more the mustardy one? Yes. I, I think I know which one. And those made. all went on the A12s, the yep. six-pack cars. Yep. This is the scat pack. Absolutely brilliant. What have you done to it? Uh, well, we got it. I'll I show you. This is what it looked like. This is what it looked like on eBay. Oh, wow. And all that. So we went right through it. And the only thing that's left from eBay is uh, the driver's door, bumpers, and the roof. That's it? That's it. So everything else we did. So how much did you buy it from eBay? $12,000. He was asking fourteen. dollars I offered him $10,000. He said, let's split the difference. And you paid that much? And then you only ended up using the door and... I bought a Vintage. <laughs> and it didn't even have a build sheet. The build sheet, when I took... Because the interior, he told me it was a new interior. Yeah. No. It wasn't. <laughs> so oh, no. the only build sheet that this guy missed was the one under the back seat. And from there, I was able to, to, to get the fender tag because it didn't have a fender tag because it got hit. And he kept the fender tag. This fender was a 68 off of the 68 yeah that they cut the slot put the, the side part oh it was a fair finding all the parts well you know what you showed him because look what you've done to it now yeah it looks really good and how long did this take you uh 20 months that's pretty good yeah under two years that's that's very good and the original engine uh no they need the original engine drag racing it, but it's period correct. It's a 68 engine, so that would have been in this car, just not numbers. Just not what, sorry? It's not a numbers matching engine. Okay. But it did, it's a 60, it's from a 68, which would have been the right date code for this car. Right. Have you always liked the Dodge? Yeah, my dad worked for Chrysler. Oh, okay. And I've owned two non-Chrysler cars. They had Corvette, and they had a 76 when I was in college. Nice. And the reason I got that one is because I wanted another, another. I wanted a Dart. Yeah. They're just so expensive. You know, and, and I know what it cost me to, to go through this. Yes. I stopped counting 90 with this one. Yes. So, well, I'm not surprised by. You've added a lot of other prime details to it. We, uh, on the seats? Yeah. No, they, they were supposed to be there. Legendary, okay. Legendary did the interior. I put it all together. Well, 
that's awesome. I don't want to keep you from. No, that's okay. With these. They were there. They were there if as you well. Look at, if you look at the fender or the sales sheet on the door, the guy put almost $800 in options into this car. He should have just a, went for the A12s, yeah. the six packs, or he should have got the heavy. Do you, want, do you mind telling me and my viewers what the motor is? I don't want to keep you from your views. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so you did the motor though? Yeah, did it all re over. It's a 327 Chevy, small block, but it's a tunnel, it's a high rise intake manifold with cross ran by Offenhauser on it with two 500 uh, Edelbrock carburetors. And what's that going to do to the engine? Make it get real terrible gas mileage. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's not so nice at this time, but no, it had three deuces on it, but yeah, yeah, I do wanted something over the top, so that's what we decided to go with. It definitely looks over the top. So the paintwork, the airbrushing, was all done when you got it? Um, not a lot of it. We had to do it all over. I did a lot of it. Okay, so you've done a lot of stuff oh, to yeah. that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You even just bought it like ride, this. So it's slammed right on the ground. It's been shaved. There's no door handles. Beautiful. But it was uh, built by George Barris out of California. Okay, nice. Pretty famous guy. Is he? What's he famous for? I mean, he built a lot of the cars that were in movies and stuff, you know, the Batmobile and all those things. But he was not directly involved. It was his men that did this. Okay. The guys that worked for him. But uh, it's been signed on the, you can take a picture inside on the glove compartment. Is, um, I'll open the door for you. It's got the signatures of a lot of different guys that, that helped with the car. You can see George Barris' signature. George Barris. Ah, George Barris. There's Boha, Jimmy Shine, a whole bunch of guys. Right, so the people who were involved in making the well, Batmobile. Those are all, these are all different car builders, so we yeah. had a show where they were all at and they were signed it. But it's, uh, the guy that did the black pinstriping on it was a famous guy, uh, Voodoo Larry Goss out of Chicago. Okay. Yeah, so we've had a lot of different shows after before I got it, but I put the visor on it. And you've lowered it? Well, the airbags were in it, but I did a lot to it. I'd do everything over on it. It wasn't done very good. No? No. So it was just fun. It's a fun project. There's always things you have to do to a car. No yeah. Yeah. Just to make it yours. Yeah. Yeah. Well you've, made, well, you've made it yours. You've Thank definitely you. made it yours. And were these um, original to when they yeah. came out? Yes. It's a vent window. What's it called? Sorry? It's a vent window. Vent window. Yeah. Okay. And it's uh, the only way you can get in is to reach in and grab it. Of course, there's no door handles. That's pretty neat. Gotta remember not to lock that though. That's what they did. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Thank sure. you, sir. Anytime. Thanks, Jim. See Thank you. you.
said I would get the get dead. He said I would get the car over his dead body. I got the car. <laughs> Over whose dead body? You like that? I love it. Over whose dead body? Oh! <laughs> I said, yeah, my headlights bought me the car. Finally! <laughs> you, you were asking for it and he was saying nope over my dead body. Yeah! You yeah, want the dead body. I got the car. Yeah! Good for you. Good for you. I love it. And you got the skeleton there as well. <laughs> Good for you. That's definitely going to have a lot of people stopping by. Oh, they do. Yeah. 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 And don't uh, we race uh, the scooters? Race scooters. Oh, whereabouts? Uh, uh, there's a car show in August, and they have the little scooters like that, and uh, we race them. That is so. And cool. you get a trophy. And you get a trophy. And you get a trophy. And the person who wins gets to wear the crown for a year. See the crown? I'm going to go around and look at it properly. So, are you? do you organize that event or? No, no, Patterson, Jim does. But we just, we're at the car show and, and everybody's got, everybody's older, so they got the scooters. And That's true. Just, oh, let's go from here to there. And next thing you know, we're lining up and we're going to, so now at the orphan show, which is, orf, this is an orphan. Okay. Because they don't make them no more. They don't make Plymouths. They made Chevys. Yeah. But they don't make a Plymouth. And they stopped after 76? Uh, I don't know when they stopped. No. What? You think? Plymouth. Well, you're, he's got uh, ours a is, No, ours is uh, 74. Oh, mm -hmm. well, maybe they did. Okay. Stop. But anyhow, you can't. Any car that's not made, like a Nash. Yep. And that they go there to this show, and that's where that started because there's a tennis court. Right. And there's like a, you know, you just use the edge to race to the other end. That is so fun. cool. That is so fun. Is it? Yeah. That is so fun. Fun. And, and if you can't walk it, you can ride it. That is so <laughs> fun. So if somebody wants to get involved in that, what is the full details? Where It's in August? I think it's in August. Whereabouts is it? Manoa, Lewis Park in Manoa. Okay. And what, what's the name of the event? Uh, Orphan Car Show. Orphan Car Show. Or Orphan Car Show. So if you're interested, I mean... I can walk, and I know a lot of other people can walk who are using the scooters, but that sounds so much fun. That's Just to yeah, sit on the scooter and run. We're here to have fun. We're here to have fun. Orphan car show. Where are you from? Australia. Cool. <laughs> oh, cool. My godfather married an Australian woman. Nice. And she wanted to go home. She wanted to go home. And he was New York City, born and bred. No, no, no. So he said, okay, we'll go visit. He never left. Oh, no. Nice. I love it. Sell my stuff. I'm staying here. Sell my stuff. So, yeah, yeah, because he lived in New York City and, you know, all his houses, yeah. all his, sold everything and, and give me the money and they live. You know, there. Okay. And I always wanted to go visit because I wanted to go there. But then I hear you got these snakes. Oh, yeah, you got, we got, we got there's a lot and, of snakes. And you got these spiders that get in your shoes. Yep, yep. And I'm like, they and the, the like smaller, the deadlier. Oh. Yes. So you can't see them, yes. but they're around your house. And they like to hide in your shoes, these little tiny, and if they bite you, they're bad. Anytime you leave your shoe outside, you got to whack it against the wall and empty it before you put your feet back yeah, in Yeah, and there. these snakes, they're everywhere. Wow. And it's they're like bad. No, they're, they're bad. <laughs> we, we, we got snakes here, but I'm yes. not afraid because they're, they're, they're not... They're not as they're bad not or poisonous. poisonous. Yeah. Rattlesnakes, there's some in the swamp. Uh, bridge Park. Yeah. Bridge Yeah, Bridge Park. In the Cicero Swamp. But they're, they're not here. They're not around here. And Copperhead's more in Hudson Valley. Right. We don't have them here. I'm like happy. I like your shirt, by the way. It's my car. That's what I thought. It's my car. But this is the car with the original wheel. These are what came on the car. It, it looks pretty original. Have, have you done anything to it? 
Well, you can see I put tape on it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Still original. Yeah, it's pretty original. It's pretty much. And and why did you want this car so much? Uh, it's back when I was young. You know, cause this is a '67. Younger. Oh, younger. Younger. Yeah, but I'm only 26 now. Okay. Because as you hit 50, you don't hit 51. You go 49. I love that. So now I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that old. Now I'm only 26. That's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't have picked you a day over 25. Now. See? <laughs> so why did you want this? Uh, when I was young, my brother had a car like this. It was blue, but it had a Hemi in it. Okay, and he, would, he wouldn't let you drive it? No, I went out and bought a Roadrunner. Um, oh, a Roadrunner? Oh, yeah, brand new Roadrunner. Nice. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. But your brother had one like this. Well, I, I can't afford a Roadrunner. Okay. This was cheaper. You don't have a dead body in there, do you? No, not <laughs> I could. <laughs> I do say I could put a body in here. You can look how big it is. <laughs> you yeah. really could. You could put two dead bodies in there. I could put three. Look at how far back. It goes way oh, back. It's so good to have a big trunk. But this is what the car. This is the car. And see how the options. I love how they've got so many females in the models in the pictures. So it was designed more for. Yeah, so the guys go out and buy it. Yeah. <laughs> Here's because a the girls like too. it. <laughs> and there's, well, the leather seats. Yeah. Minor. Well, the back seats are original. The fronts are replacements. Okay. And I don't like them. <laughs> no? No, because they're buckets. The original well, came that's, with. That's your color, isn't it? It's being a way back. Ah, see? See how these? These are red line tires. Mm -hmm. That's what I got. These are the wheels. That's what I got. The original ones. This is what would come on the car. And this is my road runner. Nice. See how the... And you've always liked your cars. Oh. I got brothers. I, I got brothers and when we were first married and we were over to in-laws and the guys come to the house and I went outside and they said, why are you going out there with all the men? I said, they're my friends, they're my buddies. Yeah. And I said, they're my buddies, they're not my husband, they're my buddies. <laughs> I like that because I've got two brothers as well and I'm just comfortable just sitting down, yeah. talking to guys. Yeah, because that's what we did. They, I, I didn't relate to the girls because there were no girls. There were no girls. So, and we lived in the country, so there was, you know, there was two girls in the neighborhood. Oh, Tootie Snoop, you know. <laughs> and I, I was out with the boys. And we were, you know, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, we made a dummy and put it on the side of the road in the dark, in the country. And the people drive along, ah, oh look, oh my god, oh. And you'll be hiding in the bushes <laughs> to see their reaction. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. Oh, well you're having a great time at this show and this is awesome. Good for you. Well, so happy to meet you and... And your name is? Rana. Rana? Yes. What's your name? Elaine. Elaine. Yeah. What's your name, man? Kathy. Kathy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You guys are having an absolute blast, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Gotta have a laugh. You have to have a laugh. That's it. That's why these car shows are so cool. Right. Yep. I was sitting looking, telling her how dusty it is. Somebody had a walk. Her husband's over there cleaning, cleaning, and I ain't yeah. done nothing. <laughs> we have to sit and have coffee and talk. <laughs> you do that, because that's more fun sometimes as well, just to sit back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So nice to meet both of you. Nice Enjoy to meet yourself. You too. Are you here for a long time, or do you just here a little bit? Oh, I, I'll hopefully I'll be leaving you now in the States. Oh, you're going back? Yeah, my, my mum won't be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we settled here for now. Oh.
Hi, how are you? Good. Rana. Hey. What do you want to show me? More room this side. I don't want my bag hitting the other cars. 67 Pontiac. Now this is very rare. I was... Oh, you have a seat in it. All right. Very roomy compared to the 31 Ford Coupe I was sitting a little while ago. There's a lot more room here, but um, it's absolutely original. Don't think the seats are, so I'm gonna ask the owner. But the carpet, it looks like it would be original as well. Tempest Custom Pontiac, very nice. All right, now let's go find the owner. Very nice, sir. Thank you. How long you've had it for? Just a year. Just a year? How'd you come across it? A friend of ours up in Marcellus had it. Yeah. And uh, we stopped there. I had a 71 Chevelle Nomad wagon. Nice. I walked around the car. I liked the way the car looked. And then uh, the keys were in it. I asked him, could I take it out for a ride? I loved it so much that when I came back, I threw the keys to the wagon to him. I told him he wasn't going to get the keys back for this. <laughs> so the drive was that good? Yes. And that, that motor is original as well? No, it is not. It's not? No. Can you tell me what it is? Right now it's a uh, Chevy Crate 350. Okay. So it would have been a three Pontiac 326 would have been the original. Is there anything here that's original? What am I seeing that's, I mean... These look like they're original, maybe, no? This is original. Yeah. All of this stuff is original. All of that stuff is original. But okay. this right here is not. Just the middle bit. Okay, okay. And it's in such good shape. Mm -hmm. No wonder you grabbed it and ran with it. <laughs> yep. So was that motor in when you bought it? Are you? Yeah, the motor was in yeah. there when I bought it. Yep. The way you see it with the accession of the tires and rims, yep. everything is just the way I got it. Very nice. Um, and come over here, this is very rare. Yes. So tell me about that. Um, the reason why it's rare is because of that right there. There was 5,400 built. Yep, in that wow. year. In that Out year. of uh, almost 8,000 cars. Yep. And you got an award too, Peter. Yep, that was from uh, the uh, show at Bill Rap Pontiac which is the uh, the station uh, chapter for fighting it. Okay, and that was an appreciation for keeping it in such original... No. No? That's second place in uh, my class. And what was the class? Class 3. It's uh, 65 through 70. That's a big class. Years. Yeah. yeah, that's a big class. Well, congratulations. Class. Yeah, that's thank great. you. That's great. Thank you. Have you always liked the Pontiacs? Oh yeah, Pontiac Chevys. Yeah. You having a good time at the event? Oh yes. You always oh, come yeah. to Syracuse? I live here. You live here, okay. Yes. Well, Born and raised here. Yeah. So you have to be here every year. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got to. Oh, well, so. that's awesome. I appreciate that, Peter. And thanks for letting me jump in. No problem. This yours? Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. It looks pretty original. I try and try and get, keep it that way. So how original is it? What have you done to it? Uh, well, it was originally in my father's truck. He left it to me when he passed away. So he put a different motor and transmission in it. Okay. But other than that, it's still original brakes and original suspension setup. Custom Chevy cab, what, uh, I couldn't that read is, the ye. That's the option. Okay. It's an option. Um, it's, it comes with a bigger back window in the cab. If you see other ones, they'll have a window yeah, that is a lot much bigger. smaller. Mm -hmm. And then a ye, you get this. And what year was this again? 1964. 64. And then you get a chrome front bumper and grill as opposed to painted. Yep. And then the steering wheel is different, which 
I happened to pick up one at the swap meet yesterday for the trim ring horn. Because so did you just break. change that I just overnight? This morning. <laughs> <laughs> So you picked up the steering wheel at the swap and meet here at the Syracuse, yep. Syracuse Nationals. Yep, because a lot of times that ring on the bottom, yep. it's broke off and, and they don't make a reproduction because it's a so small number that we yep. had them. Well, isn't that good? I just reupholstered the seat. Oh, that does look neat. For the new. show, put the original bench back in it. Very nice. And when your dad had this, you obviously had memories of it sitting in the... Yeah, it was hard to bring it back here last year because he passed in 2019. Oh, I'm so sorry. Last year was tough, but it's getting better. Just trying to keep it the way he had it, but just a little yep. flare here and there. It looks nice the way it is. I like the, what do you call it, the patina paint? Yep. Yep. Yeah, and a lot of it's original patina because that's... And that's original that's, rust. That's original right there. Some of it I... You haven't sealed it yet? No. I think I'm gonna sand it down in satin, satin clear. Yep. I don't want it shiny, but I don't. It just makes it easier to wash. Yes, but also to set it as well. Yep. Because otherwise it might keep changing. That's awesome. Very nice. Look how look how big the trunk is there. Yeah. Is that something you've made yourself? Oh, uh, that's something my father made. Okay. I want to maybe change it up a little bit, make it out of metal, and try and distress it to match. Okay. The rest of it. I can yeah. see that because you've got chrome at the front. Yep. So. And what's the engine? It's a uh, 454. Yeah, yeah, that's something he did. He put in. Yeah. Yep. That's awesome. Well, at least you get to have it. I'm sure he would want you to, you know, keep it and. Yeah. Keep going with it. Yeah. That's it. Here and there. That's awesome. And how far did you drive in it? Oh, it's about. Probably 15 20 miles for me. Chitnan okay. Go. Okay. So you're a regular at this show? Yep. Yeah, I've been coming to it every year. Oh, that's since awesome. It started, so. nah, it's a pretty cool event. It is. Great. I appreciate that. Thanks, right. man. Have a good day. You too.